Stress is an unavoidable part of life, but it doesn't have to be a negative. In fact, with the right approach, stress can be a very powerful tool. Yeah, whether it's overcoming challenges or pursuing your passions, stress can be a catalyst for positive change. Our resilience expert, Dr. Deborah Gilboa, is back, and this is perfect timing because May is Mental Health Awareness Month. So um, we all have stress, and so mm -hmm. how do we become more aware of it and use it for good? So here's the thing. We have been taught for a long time, oh, stress is bad, you should avoid it, but you can't, and here's why. Our brains are wired to keep us alive. Good news, we're currently alive. Bad news, our brains think all change is stressful, even good stuff. So getting the change you want, make, like setting up a vacation you're really hoping for, inviting people to your home for Mother's Day, any change, your brain says, cool, but could we die? It sees all change right. as stressful. So if you can look at your change, any change, anything that's stressing you. You don't have to figure out how it's a change, just anything that stresses you and take three steps. The first is empathy. Give yourself a minute. Empathy for mm -hmm. yourself. We don't do that as well as we do it for other people. So right. you acknowledge that it's okay that I'm feeling the way I'm feeling right. and, and don't give yourself a, a, a hard time. time. Don't, yeah. right. don't call yourself names. Right. Don't say things you'd never say to someone else. So you say to yourself, hey, that doctor on TV said, this is normal, okay, it's stressful. Give yourself a minute. And then I, and this is the one that people don't usually do, I for interrogate. I want you to ask yourself two questions about any stress in front of you. One, is it avoidable or unavoidable? Mm -hmm. Like, I'm gonna use a random example, like a parking ticket, okay? okay? Unavoidable, I mean, if you don't want your car booted or towed, unavoidable, right? Is it useful or useless? And what I mean by that is, does it get you to a change you want mm -hmm. or a change you don't? Parking ticket probably does not get you to a change you want, but it's unavoidable, so if, in the rare instance, it is avoidable and useless, walk the other way. Right. And that happens occasionally. My neighbor has chickens and I don't love it. And her, one of her chickens got out and she came, you have to come help me look for it. Actually, I don't. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I can walk the other way. Okay, they avoidable <laughs> yeah. and useless. But for most change, most stress, which is either unavoidable or useful or both, mm -hmm. then you go to the last G, which is what's my goal? Yeah. Even with change you don't like, you have a goal. With my parking ticket, my goal is to put this off a little bit so that I can afford the things I need this month. I'll save up for it next month, so I have to write in and ask for that. Or my goal is to pay this as quick as possible so that nothing else happens to my car. You figure out what your goal is, and then you make your choices to aim for that goal. Okay. This is so great. Gig, as Gig. you call it. Gig. Great. Gig your stress. Give yourself a minute, interrogate your stress to make sure you should deal with it in the first place because occasionally right. you don't have to, and then figure out your goal and get to it. Well, it's like a secret weapon. Now we're right. all armed with gig. You know, and I read in a book, and, and this was years ago, talking about like when you feel stressful and you feel anxiety, lean into it. Try to use it to, figure to out, your advantage. Right. Figure use out it what it's like, for. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I laugh because that's exactly what I say with three kids. And and you know this, having <laughs> multiple four. children. Yep. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like you you realize that the situation is stressful and chaotic, and so you just say, We're just gonna lean in. We're gonna have a yeah. messy house, things are gonna be chaotic, and that's okay. Like it's gonna be stressful some days, but it's all good. And if you can use your stress, it will help you be more resilient for the next thing because you build confidence and competence. Like, yeah, this is hard and not but, and I can do it. Right, like when and we had 24 kids here. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> right. And the next time when we have even more kids, it may not stress us out as much <laughs> right. because right. we're like, hey, we handled 24, we can do 36. Yeah. <laughs> Bring them. <laughs> Bring them. Best of luck. <laughs> we're just making a two you know hour that, show. Do you know that that's avoidable stress? <laughs> I'm that just saying. That's, that's what we do know. We, we lean into all yep. of stress. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. G. Great Got conversation. It.